Hey guys, what is up? Diamond Brooks Productions here, back with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing the Lego Ninjago Ruse Battle Dragon set. This retails for $30 in New Zealand, and this is one of the three Lego sets I got for Christmas this year, and um, let's take a look at the figures. Here's Sensei Wu, and, uh, or what they call him on the box, Hero Wu, and I'm glad that they included him in a small set, because I actually don't have many Sensei Wu figures. Like, I have lots of the Ninja, but when it comes to um, Wu... I only have two, and there's the original one, um, from 2012, and the Lego and Jaga movie one from the CMF series. So really, this is my third since I were figure, and my, um, second were based on the TV show. So, the hat, I don't know if it's exclusive, but I definitely don't have it in this colour. And, I'm just gonna remove the staff real quick. And... He has this shoulder armor piece that I think was from the Lego Movie 2, if I'm not mistaken. You could, like, use this as an Apocalypse Berg Woo if you wanted to. But, there's his face. It's a face that I actually don't own, so that's pretty nice. Um, like that back, like that, um, <laughs> torso printing in that. Um, it's got a little braid at the back, which you could literally use this head for a custom, um, for a Spinjitsu Master if you wanted to. And there's the back torso printing. Pretty similar to the front, um... So, yeah, but overall, I'm just glad to have Woo, because I really needed a Woo figure, and, um, well, now I have a modern-day one, so, that's cool. And here's the quote-unquote villain of the set, which is Glick. Now, for some reason, he's a villain in the set, but if you've actually watched the show, you will know that he's neutral, and he was being enslaved. Um, so, the true villains were the Awaken Warriors. But he does have this bowcaster piece, which I'm not going to fire that, but it actually does shoot these like little silver bits here. He has this dual molded um, headpiece, which I really like that. Um, I believe they used this for Santa's elves. The head is really nice. Let me just remove that. It's got a little bit of a scared look at the back. And um, you can see how that looks. And... I remove um, the little quiver. You can see his back torso printing, which I guess if you want, you could use that as the front. Um, I mean, it actually could work. So, yeah, like, of course, I don't really like doing that, but I'm just saying if we wanted to. Um, so, yeah, but that's basically it for um, Glick. And here is this little stand to hold one of the Blades of Deliverance. And I really like some of the pieces, like this round 4x4 in um, orange. That's pretty nice to get. And there are these green flames here. I do kind of wish that um, you could put Glick here, but it's really easy to modify. You just swap this piece around. And there's this really cool dual molded sword. Can this focus? Focus! Oh, God, I hate it. Okay, there we go. Um, but... This is a really nice sword piece. It's still molded and it looks great. Um, I believe you can put a Lego Friends accessory hole there. And yeah, overall, this is a real nice sword piece. So here is Wu's Battle Dragon. Although, if you've watched the show, you'll know who this really is. And can this focus? Jesus, sorry. I just hate it when it doesn't want to focus. Focus? I legitimately had to pause the recording because it didn't want to focus. That's how much I hate this phone I'm using, but... Yeah, this um, build is really nice and it's way better than other Ninjago Dragons. But um, it, anyway, um, as I was saying, you'll know who this really is in the show. This is Chompy, which is Vanya's dragon. Um, but they just use it for Wu because I believe in the final episodes of Season 13, Wu actually used this dragon. And... There's lots of posability and ways I like. So, there's ball joints here at the tail and ball joints around the head area. And that's actually the only ball joints used on this build. And I love that. Now, it might seem like a bad thing, but here's the thing. I have Ultra Caddy and the Golden Dragon, and I hate those sets because of how many ball joints they use. Like, it's very posable, but it's too posable. Like, I literally have trouble trying to pose it because it's too posable. Thus, because there's only ball joints at the head and the tail, it's easier to stand up because it has, um, like, 
clips and Technic pins on there. I mean, these, they only move forward and back. They don't move, like, out. And I love how that happens, because now it's way easier to pose the thing. Um, the wings, they're only attached on hinges, and I really like that. So overall, this might seem like a bad thing, but realistically, it's a great thing, and I love that so much. Um, but anyway, they have lots of these um, gold jumpers, which are nice to get. I think those were only used in Minecraft and Mixels. Um, the head, I really like how it's brick built. There's some interesting parts, like this roll skate part, and um, this 1x2 um, jumper in like the sa um, sand blue. That's pretty interesting. Um, since I were himself, I'm just going to call him that. Um, you just put him on the saddle here, which it's easy to remove. So, if you don't want it there, then, um, yeah, it's up to you. Um, there's also this, um, staff, um, holder for him. So you can put his staff there while he's piloting the dragon. And, these wings I really like. Now, for some reason, this wing in particular, like, this part comes up a little bit, and that's a little annoying, but... Aside from that, these wings look fantastic. I mean, both of them are mirrored, but they're a little bit frosted on the edges. And you can't move them down, but you can move them up. And that's a really good look. I just... Like, this set, it's just really awesome. And it's probably one of my favorite Ninjago Dragons of all time. Just because it's easy to pose. It looks great. And it's just generally a good set. So, overall, if you want a Ninjago Dragon get this. And I'm not even kidding. Um, like, this actually is that good. Because, like, the figures, they're nice, but the dragon itself, Chompy, like, it has good, like, it's a really good build, really fun, but it doesn't, um, have an overuse of ball joints. It's, um, like, got the right amount, because, in my opinion, it should only really have it in, like, the tail and the head. Um, so, yeah, I just really like how the legs are hinged and not on ball joints, because, um, I don't want to have the legs splayed out, I just want to have them, like, like this, so. Yeah, but overall, that's basically it for this review, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.